Hello guys, welcome back to the Hit the Snake Cork City career mode. Episode 25, the milestone, a quarter of a hundred. This is a huge milestone. Thank you very much for all your support so far in the series. It uh, doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you very much for watching and all of our videos for if liking and sharing them and talking them with people. Just thank you so much. Um, in the last episode, I said it was going to be a Monaco match coming up. It's well, technically I was right, but it's a Porto match first. Uh, we're going to skip the league matches in between because, as we know, we're about fucking thirteen points ahead in the league. So there's no point in even starting there, like. Look at David Myler showing off the kit. What a man. Wanna be Porto. Come on. Look at him skipping around me. What a shit shot. What was that? I think that's supposed to be shining. He doesn't look anything like him in real life. But whatever. Come on, Cork. Let's do this. Oh, the football's great. St. Castles. He knows everything. He has eyes in the back of his head. That's a good idea with the puck. Yes, Mr. Sandcastles. What a finish. Oh, he's a Champions League quality player. Like, What a man. Let's have a look at it. The patience. Watch the patience. Bang. What a champion. I think in the final game of the year, if we're in the Champions League final, I'm going to make him the captain so he'll be the one to lift the trophy. I think he deserves it. He's the iconic man of the Cork series. I hope in real life it makes him feel truly accepted by the Cork community. He's a good man. Kieran Sadler, bye. No! What an idiot. I gave away such an easy goal. Right, I'll build up more momentum. You can't be playing this bad now. Come on. More sandcastles, please. That's all I can say. That's all anyone ever wants. Just more sandcastles. We'll put more attack. Ultra attack. We need some more guys going forward. We're feeling too scared at the back. That's what it was. Putting pressure on them like. Come on, we need to get the ball back. Alright, I tried a mad shot. Look, we got a corner. At least a corner out of it. Come on, David Meyer, knock your head onto it, will you? Oh. Try it again. Yes! It worked! That's the kind of corners I'll be getting online, lads. They're the ones I've been telling you about all this time. Who was that? Jeff Hendrick. What a fucking champion. His first goal for the club. Uh, a big one it was. The Thundering Man. That's his nickname. His big thunderous header. Don't give it away. Don't do it. I don't fucking believe it. What a weird goal. There's been weird goals in that last episode. And in this episode, no, again. What was that like? That was very weird. There's something suspicious about that. There used to be corrupt refs. Now there's fucking corrupt aliens in the fucking pitch. There's actually aliens taking over uh, the Irish League at the moment. I'm going to put that... Uh, highlight the pressing issue of that. Look at them. Like the aliens are just chasing after them. This isn't a football game today. It's actually an alien invasion in disguise... Yes, what a finish. Desposito. He was dancing, he's beautiful man. That was a nice pass. Sandcastles with the assist. What a fucking legend. Let's get to the... Uh, I have enough football for this uh, half now. We need to uh, blow the whistle as quick as possible. And go in half time. And recuperate. Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle. And we're away. One more attack. If we get another goal, it's finished. Nah, I just kept running. No. Oh. Why did that have to happen? It's going to be a lot of goals this game. They're not a bad team, lads. Oh. Desposito trying to steal the headlines of the first episode. Episode. Oh my god almighty, what a football game! What a football game this is! Is that Mr. Sandcastles? There's no way, is it? 13 Morrissey? Oh no, Hendrick again? Jesus Christ! The thundering man! Two goals! He's kind of reminded me there at the moment, like, uh, this game, he's playing like that uh, Roy Keane match in 99 for Man United against uh, Juventus. 
Roy Keane was the first instance of the thundering man. What an end to the first half. That was mental. Two quick goals. The Porto are the strongest team so far to be playing against. I know that's weird, especially with Juventus. Like, uh, but they really are. I think they'll, they'll get knocked out. Like, I mean, I really want us to get through, and I think we will. So I'm going to put us coming first and Juventus coming second. I think that's fair. Or maybe not. There's Monaco as well. Like, this is a fucking hard group. They're just good control. Go on, Myler, you fucking fast bastard. Look, I'm running up the line. Can Jeff get a hat trick? Can the thundering man get a hat trick? Oh, Despacito. Champion, come on. Oh my god, Despacito! Can Hendrick get another one? You laugh, you did. I tell you lads, I could get used to Cork City playing in the Champions League group stages. We'll be, uh, this season coming will be a downer now because we won't be in anything. Well, we still have a chance. We could qualify for it, but I think, I think we could make uh, Europa League, realistically. Um, that'd be fucking great, seeing some European games in Cork City. And don't forget to bring those Mr. Sandcastle's banners. We need someone on making them. Oh my God, what happened there? Taken down. Referee. That was, I thought that was a penalty. Red card. Totally. Fucking send him off. Disgraceful. It was a sure thing. Despacito fucking hacked down. Alright, I think what we're going to do. How much power does he have? Not much. He's got more power. Scott Sinclair, let's take a shot with him. Well, I'm just going to lace it into that corner. That was miserable. That was so embarrassing. I'm sorry, gentlemen, for watching. And any ladies that are watching as well. Oh, Jesus, bag of yolks. He dropped his yolks everywhere. What was that? I didn't tell him to do that. Oh, St. Castles. Nearly. No way. They're not going to get one more attack. Yeah. That was a grand it's offside. Go on, Slenderman up to the left. Oh, Jesus. I think Slenderman is angry. We haven't been giving him enough worship and praise. Put your comments and worship and praise down below, please, from Mr. Slenderman, because he's going to be killing a lot of people if we don't. He's very temperamental. One last cross. That was miserable. That was absolutely miserable. Scott Sinclair has been underwhelming for this game. At least we won it. Definitely top of the Champions League anyway. Do a small bit of training. Come on, Shawnee. He's 70 now. Lovely stuff. For Slenderman as well. So we're going to skip the Bray game. But I'm going to set it to my second team. I'm going to remember that. Alright. So let's simulate this match. Come on, come on, come on. Give us the win. We lost. Oh, we're we're miles ahead point wise in the league anyway. You'll see it there now in a second. Look, there we are. Look, we're miles ahead. So if we get a couple losses, look, I suppose it's okay. But at least we're sacrificing our team for the Champions League because we need them there in the Champions League, and we can't waste them on a league that I know we're going to win anyway. We're going to set up one a scouting system in um, Norway, right? I'm a huge fan of an old football player, you might know him, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He's from Norway. We're going to go there and scout some players. I got a good Norwegian before, uh, back in like FIFA 13 days. I was doing a Nottingham Forest career mode myself, and I got like a, a player who went up to 92 rated overall. Top player in the world at the time in like 2024 or something like that. And we won Champions League every year and it was on world class. Um, great times. Right, they're at Turner's Cross. Come on, we should beat them. Yes, good win. Love, class act, Shepard. Good performance. The staples of the team, lad. We're three points ahead at the top of the table, lad. So it's going to be Cork and Juventus going through. And Porto were bottom. And Porto were good. And this is it. This is the last game of the group stage. We're going to find out who we're playing against next. Uh, and that'll be the next episode for the first game. Right, let's play this bad boy. I think we're pretty much through anyway. Um, our goal difference is pretty good, even if we lost or drew, to be honest. Oh, God. I just went into the game, my second team. 
I'm some lang ball. Oh no. Well, that's the interesting part of this episode, baby. Patrick gets knocked out of the Champions League because he forgets to put a second team out. Oh, lads, are you up to it? I fucking hope so. At half time, we'll try on some of the stars. We'll have to pick three good ones and hope we don't get any fucking injuries. Oh, oh my god, what a fucking start that would have been. That's a good clearance because it's got the ball well out of harm's way. What a ball. What is going on? Lads, we're playing okay, I'll be honest. Kylian Mbappe, not a chance on Johnny Dunleavy. Did you see that? I'm so happy Mark got to make an appearance in the Champions League. He deserved it. He's a great, great man. Tell you about this, this Burke fella is not a bad replacement. He's a good substitute for Sandcastle. Like he's very good pushing forward and stuff. Up to the left. Come on. Big pass. Just like the old players, the old styles. Oh, what a ball. Ah, class act, you should have carried on. What a ball. What a ball. Shepard. Oh. He's got a good couple of goals in his career mode like that. He's good at going forward. Just his, his shooting is not on, like, you get about fucking four out of every ten. Class act is playing well, I must say. Like, I mean, I know he's not particularly a first-team player anymore, but uh, it's sad saying that, like, because he's been such a good character for us. You know, the class act montage would go over here if I had the editing skills. Look at that, as I was talking about him. As I said, talk about good things of the Cork team and good things happen on the screen. That was a proven mantra and proven track record there now. Burke got a great goal. What a man. He fills in for Mr. Sandcastles when Mr. Sandcastles needs a break. Like Champions League with the second team, I'm repeating Monaco. I did not expect this. What's that for? You're playing too good, lad. Yellow card. You can't be beating Monaco. We need more money. They have more fans. Like, if this happened in real life with Cork going through the Champions League, uh, FIFA and UEFA would hate it because they'd lose so much money on some other team that have more fans. And that's all they care about. It's not actually about football. It's absolutely disgraceful. Morrissey, shoot. Oh. Look at that. Determination for Mr. Love, like. And I know he's a left back, but he does really well as a centre defensive midfielder. Moving forward with some the shot's on. Nah, right. Akin Fenwa has absolutely no finesse shot on him. It's just normal shot for him. He's like uh, Antonio Valencia, if, if you've ever used his card. A win for the second team in Champions League is so mental. Do you know what? It would actually prove that we deserve to be there. My song for the Hit the Snake hits today is Hold the Line by a band Toro. They're an 80s band. Really cool, rocking, strong guitar and really catchy vocals and stuff. Class act. Well, that's my suggestion for today anyway. So check that out and it'll be down in the description for you to join the Spotify list. Let's do this. Come on. We've got to see this game through. Uh, Cork played Cove Ramblers last week as I'm making this video now it was last week um, and some pictures came out of the day and I saw this one and I thought it was one of the funniest things I've ever showed what a fluke what a fluke still counts anyway see you talking about good things at Cork you get a goal we're just going to quickly look at this goal again it was quite, quite clearly a de this was quite clearly a deflection yeah, clear deflection. And now, thank you, Akin Fenwa, I'm going to show you the funny picture. As you can see, the ball is lodged between two players doing an impression of an L. What is going on? I actually believe, well, I don't know if it's 100% true. This might be Mr. Sandcastles. I can't quite tell because he's bent over at a really awkward angle. Oh, what a goal. Oh. They deserve that. That was a good finish. Another kind of suspicious, weird-looking one, if I do say so myself. There's something always a little bit off about it. Mm, there's aliens, like, they're just coming down to take over the world. We'll have to fight them off in XCOM. After the football, we'll be doing XCOM, which is a game where we actually will be fighting aliens. Yes, what a goal! That defender was playing well. 
where all these goals coming from. So yeah, after this Cork series, after we win the Champions League, we're going to start an, an XCOM series. Uh, XCOM is a game where you, me and Jack will be commanders uh, for the team. You'll finally get to watch a lot more of Jack's videos and with the same kind of humour and comedy that we have here. It's a, I'm, I'll be the commander of an army that shoots down alien spaceships and has to hunt aliens out and save the world. Um, we're going to put some of the Cork players in here in the game, like Class Act, Mr. Sandcastles, of course, and we're going to play through the series. And players can die along the way, which makes the playthrough harder because you can lose some of your best soldiers because the more kills they get and the more missions they do, they get up in higher levels and stuff like that. So check out that series when it comes out. It's going to be a good laugh. XCOM is just a lot of fun and a lot of backstory comes out of it so you're going to get like a proper television series out of it because this is really where I've realised we're 25 episodes now if I've never done anything like this in my life before and it's just mental to be able to see Cork not get a goal down firstly but it's mental to see uh, I, I've kind of in a sense made a television series now I know it's not actually on TV but it's on YouTube but I've made it, I've edited it myself, been, you know, all the ideas, did it all myself. So I've essentially made a TV show myself. And this is the 25th episode. And it's a bit mad, um, I'll be honest. Just thank you very much again for all your support. I'm not really used to that kind of support before. It's lovely though. Keep sharing it. Talk to your friends about it, you know, about the Cork series. Share it, interact with the Cork team, EA Sports, whatever. Just keep talking about liking videos and sharing videos and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And now my big plug for the channel is over. Back to enjoying the video. Mr. Love! We might do a special day on Valentine's Day for Mr. Love. He might give a, a lovely talk to the ladies or something. Defend! Ah! Cheap goal. Cheap, cheap goal. We're balanced. We'll go slightly, slightly defensive and we'll try and get him on the counter. But uh, we'll just be responsible. We don't want to give away the goal now. Oh, he just headed him. He fucking launched his head into the goalie. I'm trying to guess who we're going to get in the Champions League. I have an awful feeling it's going to be Man United. I just have a feeling. The things I love always come into my life. Mad things happen in my life. And I'm just, now I'm, I'm predicting Man United, but I am hoping that I'm wrong. I'd love someone easy. Like, as I said, hashtag Moscow. Moscow all day long. Park the bus and bag yoke is up at the opposite end of the pitch on the wrong side. What the fuck was that? Ah, come on! What an unlucky man. Class act deserves a goal. That was some fucking pinpoint pass. Baggy yokes like they just get you focused. This time of the game, Alan. Oh, I was miles off. Connor. Jeff Hendrick was on now, he'd get a goal. What the hell fucking header was that? Defend, just foul him. Yes, doesn't matter. We won. Right, we're qualified. First in the group. Now, let's see who we got in the Champions League. I'm going to go on to the calendar and just have a look. It'll probably be the next month. Next one. one oh, United, okay. Marseille. One. Totally manageable. Right, guys, Marseille is the next match coming up. It's going to be in February, so we're actually going to... Oh, what will we do? Look, we'll decide that in the next episode. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Episode 25 and all that. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again. Goodbye. But no one, no one watches now It's the snake Looking at lovely things we have